Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Stella, can you say happy Monday? Happy Monday. What are you eating? See, I'm eating a breakfast burrito. Yum, 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 huh? These are really, really good. So yesterday, Craig and I went to Costco. And Stella lasted quite a while, but not long enough for me to do like all of my grocery shopping. So I just ended up with a few random things. Um, but they had these frankly fresh, all natural, high protein and fiber vegetable and hummus wraps. So this isn't technically a breakfast burrito. They did have breakfast burritos, but this just looked so good. And I figured this would be good for lunch as well. And I liked it because it was high in protein and high in fiber, which are two things that I would like Stella to get more of. <laughs> and like all you do is heat them up in the microwave for like a minute and they're so good. Like they don't need salsa. They don't need like anything. Um, they're pretty stinking amazing. So I hope they keep carrying these. Um, one burrito is 370 calories. I gave Stella a, about a third and then I ate the other two thirds and I'm pretty full from that. Um, so this has like brown rice, lentils, tomatoes, black beans, onions, roasted bell peppers, hummus, um, mozzarella cheese, roasted corn, red bell pepper, edamame, uh, feta, uh, green onions, lime juice, blah, blah, blah. They're good. Highly suggest checking them out again, Costco. Um, they do expire like fairly quickly. I don't know why I thought they would last longer, but <laughs> um, we do have until February 5th and we'll definitely eat them before then. We'll probably just eat these for breakfast for the next few days. So how are you doing with yours? Huh? You ate a little, well, right about half. <laughs> Can you eat the rest of that? I'd like for you to get a little bit more of this. Yeah, just eat it with your hands. It's probably a little easier. Um, so yeah, it's Monday. Uh, Craig was going to take the van. I don't know if he did. Let's check. He did not. Okay, good. So we have a vehicle. Um, I want to go out today. <laughs> I say this like in every single video. I really do want to get out of the house for a little while with her today. Um, she just really likes walking around public places and um so i don't know i thought about maybe taking her to um they have like the play places and stuff at the mall i thought about taking her there those they make me a little bit nervous because of like the germs and stuff but i'm gonna see if i can clean her hands really well afterwards and hopefully that'll prevent her getting sick i don't know i want to take her somewhere where she can interact with other kids she needs to go to preschool <laughs> just kidding she's totally not ready for preschool and I'd be so sad if she was gone every day already we'll see what happens today we're not gonna make any plans we're just gonna kind of do what ends up happening I love you cheese ball love you she's so cute Stella can you come in here please so <laughs> I never show this room because this room is always a disaster and it really just needs to get cleaned up. But this is Craig's office. <laughs> this room is really, really, really small um, and it's very cluttered. So we are in the process right now of shredding a bunch of like old documents. Craig is apparently a hoarder of paper. And so we have paper in here from like old bills and stuff from like 2007 and 2008. Um, so we just really need to get rid of a bunch. So I still need to shred that. I still have to go through more of those drawers there. In our new house, Craig doesn't actually want an office. So um, we won't need a fourth bedroom for an office for him but I'm going to use the fourth bedroom as a filming room so that means that our like guest room can just be a guest room so I hope that I can find a house with a room just this size because this would be perfect um 
that window faces a, a house. So the lighting in here was never really great, which is why I didn't take this room as an office. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a nice size little room. I bet that this is for like most homes. This is probably a pretty average size bedroom, but anyway, I really like the color of these walls. I need to remember what this is. Um, cause I want to paint this, um, in our next house too, in one of the rooms. So it's like a pretty gray, blue, gray, blue. I don't know. I like it. Anyway, I'm going to get to shredding. I still have so much left to do. Hey, you want to help me tear up some paper? Yeah. Or you want to snoop through dad's stuff? She'd like to snoop through dad's stuff. Excellent choice. Okay, I'm not entirely sure it's possible for another human to make a bigger mess during a cleaning project, but <laughs> I think I have managed. So this is like, and by the way, it's like a couple hours after the last time that I checked in with you guys. <laughs> So I shredded a bunch of stuff. This was from that stuff that was in that bag. And then I did a bunch of like my old paycheck stubs. But there's still more. I'm a little bit hesitant to um, do any more at this point because most of this stuff is Craig's. And I think he needs to go through. So I don't want to shred a bunch of stuff that could then potentially be things that he needs. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and leave this alone at this point, um, and I'll wait for him to come home tonight, and we'll go at this little project again, but there's a lot of stuff in here that just needs to either be shredded or donated to Goodwill. Um, this closet is always a disaster, too. Um, we cleaned it out not that long ago, but there's still a bunch of stuff that like we really truly don't need. In fact, I could probably actually go through those things down there because I think those are mine. So maybe I'll do that, but like there's ugh. Disorganization, you guys, just drives me bananas. And um I really just want to get this room cleared out. So Oh, that's a nice basket. I should use that to organize some shizzle. Um yeah. Oh, yeah, this room needs to get done. I'm stressed. Hey, Stella, can you not touch anything? That'd be great. Thanks. She's, she is, like, obsessed with chapstick, you guys. Like, obsessed. And tap dancing. <laughs> Why are you not wearing any clothes? She, like, she will not let me put clothes on her, which is fine because we're just at home, but it's, it's kind of her thing right now. She doesn't like clothes. I might see if I can get a onesie on her really quickly. <laughs> it's not a worm. It's just paper. How funny. Oh, I love kids. So funny. Okay, so I just found this and I'm so glad because I thought I had lost it. So this is the card Craig gave me when he proposed to me. So I loved it because there's glitter all over it, which is perfect. But when he proposed to me, he took me to a restaurant that overlooked the uh, club. Yes, we met at a club. <laughs> Um, where we met and that was back in November of 2003 and he proposed in November of 2007 so we went to dinner and he actually slid this card across the table and it says each precious glittering moment of your life happy birthday because he proposed to me on my birthday and it just said will you marry me love Craig and Kong and um, it was just so Craig because it's so simple <laughs> And he just had the biggest smile on his face. And I just remember looking at him and I, I was like, are you serious? And he said yes. And 
he slid the ring across the table. And I knew, like, I knew we were going to get married. Like, it was always heading that way. But it just, I, like, I couldn't believe that, like, it was finally here, you know. Because we met in 2003, and we were together for quite a while before we got married. Which was good, because we really got to know each other, and we really, you know, sort of knew that we wanted to be together so anyway i love this card and i'm so glad i found it because now i can put it in a safe place sophie loves it too <laughs> where i can always look back on it and remember that moment because it was just really really sweet and i love that he did it on my birthday because it was the best birthday gift that i could have ever gotten so anyway so glad i found this thank god i'm cleaning out the house <laughs> it's about time and Sophie, do you need some camera time? Hmm? Sofa loaf? No, not anymore, huh? <laughs> hey guys, so Stella finally went down for her nap a little bit before one. <laughs> like she's just going down later and later every single day. Um, and that's so annoying because it means that I can't get ready until like later and later in the afternoon. So I really do, I know I say this a lot, but I need to like get up and take a shower before she wakes up, which really isn't that hard. I'm lucky enough that Stella kind of sleeps late in the morning, um, but I just need to do it. I like when I do get up before her, I like to just kind of lollygag around and that's not a good thing. I get all excited about having quiet time to myself <laughs> that I'm just like, luxuriating in my like time alone but that is obviously not a good idea because then I get irritated when I can't get ready until like 1 15 in the afternoon um I hope that you guys can see my massive breakouts on my neck I have no idea what's going on I think that so I had surgery last month. I think that that made my body freak out. Um, I really have not broken out like this like in years and it is bad. Like my entire neck is like covered in pimples. Um, I was breaking out on my face here, 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 like just everywhere. I, I just was like breaking out like crazy. And at first I thought it was only because of the Josie Moran Argon Oil in the regular formula that I was testing out. And I think that probably had something to do with it, but I think it's mostly like hormonal because I really literally like, I didn't use the oil on my neck, so there's really no reason for me to break out on my neck. Um, so that's what kind of makes me think that it's hormonal. And when I do get the rare like breakouts, it's usually around a certain time. And um, that time is now. <laughs> so. I think that that's hopefully the problem and if I can get my body to just kind of go back to normal. It was a huge stress obviously having a major surgery so I think that that kind of like did me in. But it's like so bad. So right now I have salicylic acid. I use the clean and clear spot treatment. I'm literally like covered in it. Like I covered my neck in it. I covered all of like the areas where I'm breaking out. My face is starting to do a lot better. That's healing a little bit quicker, but my neck always takes forever to heal. So that's going to be annoying for a few weeks. Um, so uh, I'm like irritated by this. It's not that big of a deal because it's just a couple of sets. Well, it's more than a couple. It's like 35, but I'll deal with it. Like I said, it doesn't happen all the time. I'm pretty lucky, but, and I'm not gonna like cover it up or anything with makeup. I'm trying to stay away from my neck with the makeup. Um, my face seems to do okay when I cover everything up, but my neck, it almost makes it worse a lot of times. So I usually don't bring anything down onto my neck. So I'm gonna have a lovely line of like foundation. <laughs> I probably shouldn't even put anything on, but I do want to record a couple of videos today, so I should probably have something on my face when I do. So anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready here, and then I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later on today. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it's dark in here. 
Kong is already ready for dinner because it's so dark in here. And he's like, it's got to be dinner time, Mom. It's got to be. But it's totally not. And he's very disappointed about that. So I was so productive with filming today. I filmed my review and comparison of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar eyeshadow palette and I compared it with the to a few of my favorite things eyeshadow palette um, because there was definitely some overlap between the two and I think that if you got the a few of my favorite things and there's a few specific colors that you got that palette for or that you like a lot I don't know that you need the chocolate bar palette unless of course you're a collector and a hoarder like me in which case you absolutely have to have it because it's adorable and cute and I had a gift card and there's a million reasons how I justify these things in my head um, that's how I ended up with a mountain of makeup um, but I also filmed my Josie Moran argon oil um, review so that is the first of like many reviews that I will do over the next couple of days um, with like the oils that I've been trying because like I've just I've had like the best luck with these things I just really she's being so overly dramatic right now I just had the best luck with them um, and I just wanted to be able to share my experience just because I have such a kind of tricky skin type and um, I think that most of the people who are super oily and kind of breakout prone like I can be from time to time um, I think that they're sort of afraid of trying the oils just like I was but there's no reason to be afraid because they're amazing so what 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 are you serious yeah, yeah? are you serious Stella no nope nope no nope. okay okie dokie there we go that's that's nice it's really nice that you did that it's actually kind of disappointing. I shouldn't confuse you, huh? Because you don't understand sarcasm quite yet. Oh, Stella. Stella. Oh, Stella. Oh, Stella. <laughs> you're so scary sometimes. <laughs> Do you know what a mess you are right now? Oh my god, you're a mess. You are just a mess. Messy mess. Come here. Come on. What did you just say? Shoot, right? You said shoot? Shoot. Shoot. That's right. That's the S word that you get to say, not the other one. <laughs> Stella appears to have picked up a little bit of a potty mouth along the way. I love you. I love you, Stinky. <laughs> You're so cute. Come on. Come on. Help me out here. Come on. Make it easy. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. There you go. All right. <laughs> As you can see, she's she's wearing a onesie at least, but she refused to put pants on. So I call this a success. Okay, so I'm going to go back to uploading and editing and getting these videos live. What an awesome day, Stella. Mama was so productive. God, she's cute. I'm going to make a snack out of her, you guys. I promise. I'm going to just take little nibbles. Little nibbles. <laughs> hey, Stella. Did you go poo poo on your jacket? Where did you go poo poo on your jacket? Poo poo. Was it on your jacket? Jacket. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, you got poo poo on your jacket, didn't you? The juice here. Okay, so like I, I literally, literally think I am cursed when it comes to Stella and poop. So I got her all dressed, got her jacket or she calls it her jacket got that on her 
proceeded to like grab my stuff to like take us both out to the car. We were going to go to TJ Maxx and just kind of go putter around. Well, Stella comes up to me and she goes, Mom, I poop on my jacket. And I was like, oh my God, no. Sure enough, she not only pooped her pants, but she got her poop on her jacket. Open it. Open it. I love that she calls it a yakket, though. I mean, it's not really that far off. <laughs> it could totally be a yakket. <laughs> but so here we are once again. Um, her hair, I still haven't like combed it. She just got out of the bath. I dressed her all in gray. <laughs> just like grabbed the first two things that I saw um yeah so once again our outing was foiled by poop hey we're actually gonna leave that in there okay what a turkey okay so I don't know if I'm still gonna go out <laughs> I lost steam and I was just totally thrown off by, I just don't know how that happened. And now I have just a ton of laundry to do. Um, because Stella has made a mess out of a lot of things <laughs> in the last few days. So she's got like a full load. So I need to wait for Craig to come home and carry that downstairs because it's kind of heavy. And um, hey, lifting her like hey, in and out of the bathtub and like lifting her in and out of her high chair today has actually kind of made my stomach hurt. Um, it should be okay for me to lift her for like small amounts of time. Like I'm not supposed to like carry her around, but I should be okay to like just lift her out of bed and out of her high chair and stuff. But I think it's still too much because, like, I totally am getting, like, little stomach cramps and stuff. So, I'm not feeling super well now. <laughs> and I'm just, like, baffled. I said on Instagram that baby poop is like magic, and it really, it really is. Like, it just goes everywhere. I, I don't understand. So, anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and just call it. Bye! quits for today. Stella is going to say Bye. goodbye. Bye-bye. Can you say we'll see you tomorrow? Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good job. All right. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully with um, less poop everywhere. <laughs> Classic. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.